people will get rowdy or what? Like, there what will exactly? be issues. We're raised to be polite. We're raised to be nice. And suddenly now we're not being nice. People that are locked away in institutions are forgotten and underestimated and underappreciated and we're going to be their voice. ADAPT is 40 years old because it still speaks to a need. It puts a face on oppression. There'll be a hundred wheelchairs rolling in amazing formation and then all of a sudden they, they peel off as it was like a, a, an army of tanks. And then there's a guard hut there and a door. Okay. I've been proud and privileged to be a part of your movement. A part to play that the people of Iowa elected me to the Senate. But there's one thing I feel that I've, I've, I've failed at. I've never been arrested with ADAP. They couldn't get the wheelchairs and the paddy wagons. Would any other minority stand to be locked up for the reason that you're black or that you're gay? Because you have the crime of a disability, they sentence you to life in a nursing home. And Jim will be out between 7 and 7.30, so... Yeah. Senator yeah. Kirk, we just wanted to express gratitude in advance yeah. of what we anticipate will be your support for the Disability Integration Act, Senate Bill 2427. So I know it, you, you may not be familiar with it yet, but we're about to meet with members of your staff. Good to see you. Well, you're still fighting. Come on in. People who want to live at home, who want to live on their own, who want to live in a community setting. We either became experts, we found experts, or we were experts. Secretary Burwell, I said at this point, is not meeting with that. Oh, we are taking it seriously. It is on Benita's highest level of agenda. At the moment we, we have that meeting, or, or soon thereafter, that okay. day. No problem. You all have a good day. Thank, Thank you all very much. Right. Right. DOJ thought they were going to play chicken. We had a whole shitload of people ready to get arrested again and go all the way. Embedded in the progressive movement that we want the right to live in the community, to be free, to not be killed, to not be mutilated, to not be tortured. Organizations representing the interests of nurses are undercutting the civil and human rights of people with disabilities. Black and proud, you hear. LGBT and proud, you hear. Not disabled and proud. There's still an extraordinary culture of stigma. Yes, I try to be precise because since we're focusing on precision here, it is important for me not to overpromise. Remember how we got here. It wasn't in meetings. It wasn't sitting down with these clowns. People try to put us down. Put us in darkness, no ground. Now I don't want to call the big sensation. Talking about me. Get down, get down, get down.